Well, I got another step deck load. <clears throat> Normally I have 11 stoses in these two sets of A-frames, but I've got glass racks on the very back and I was kind of concerned that I would be overweight. I'm good, good on my weights. Can't slide the axle though. I'm over uh, 34 on the back. And of course they use this big, huge tarp and I've got all this left over. So I strapped it down. I didn't know what else to do with it. I couldn't tuck it. I tried that. And um, there's just no real good place to tie tie these tarps. You can see how many eyelets are on these. Well, these are D-rings. But I mean, it's got D-rings all over it. This tarp, not so much. Down here, there's one there, one way up here, one way back here. But you can look at that one and see how, just how close these, these rings are together. So this tarp is a handful to keep from flapping too bad. It almost looks like to me, from just looking at this right now, that they didn't protect the top of that tarp on the pipe. They should have put cardboard on there. I will have to look at that. I don't have a thing I can do with it. Can't fix it. I don't have the cardboard even if I got up underneath the tarp. I'm in Pennsylvania, not quite to the uh, Constantly, I had, I had mentioned one time that how um, a couple hours here and there can affect you days later. Um, I made my delivery and I had that bad trailer. And I took that trailer to get it repaired. They said, while you're there, get your B service done. So doing the paperwork to get the trailer turned in, do the B service to get in, cost me some driving time. So you can literally hit my trailer that was loaded from where I was at getting the service done on the truck. Uh, lube, oil filters, grease, safety inspection. And I got all done there, rolled around the corner. I only had, by the time I got it secured, I only had two hours left. So that, that cost me uh, probably two to three hours, maybe four right there. So I grabbed the trailer and I roll and I can only go uh, about two hours. Um, that's including getting it scaled and find a place to lay down. So I rolled. I get out next morning, I burn up all my clock. And that puts me into today. Um, I rolled out this morning and I'm not going to make it. I've got two hours that I'm not going to make it. Maybe three. Uh, I don't remember. But I roll all day and I finally go do my 30 minute break and it's up. So, man, I take off. I go in there to the pumps real quick, fill up my tank, and uh, go to fill up my def because it's low. And all of the Dagon pumps went offline. And I didn't know that. So I walked inside and uh, they're just fumbled. They don't have a clue what to do. The manager's like, you know. So I just went out and got in the truck and rolled. I'll get, I'll get uh, def down the road. Diesel exhaust fluid, DEF. So I'm looking at my clock and I am wanting to go to a Pilot Flying J that is about an hour and a half from where I deliver. And I'm looking and I'm four minutes shy. And I, so I found me another Pilot Flying J, this side of it I could make, but it had zero parking. It had, um, uh, no showers, if I remember. I don't know. But anyhow, it had no parking. So I moved back one more pot of Flying J because I wanted to get a shower and there was no loves there. I could have went to a TA or Petro and paid them 15 bucks and got a shower. So I ended up at this little Pilot Flying J, which is probably the size of your backyard. And it's just a typical... I mean, right here I'm sitting, it's L-shaped. So if you come in, there's no parking. You have to back yourself all the way back out of here. It's just... It's stupid. So now I'm going to have to roll about three hours and change tomorrow to the Constantine, which is going to start my clock, my driving clock. Um, if I could have got there before five today, I could have parked inside the gate 
they would close the gate. I'd have been in there all night. After five, you can't even go down the road. And before 6 a.m., you cannot go down the road. The neighbors will call the cops on you. And they used to leave the gate unlocked for us, but the nice neighbors that call the cops on you apparently were breaking into their facility too. So, um, I mean, that's just what I was told. I don't know. So, the four minutes from uh, getting caught up trying to get deaf, four or five, six minutes, kept me from getting closer to my consignee. And the time it took me to get the trailer turned in and get my service done four days ago, I probably could have got offloaded today. And uh, and I probably would have just stayed there all night when they opened the gate at 7 in the morning. I rolled. So that's kind of how it snowballs. Three days ago, I lost about four hours or so getting a trailer service. Then it killed me. It killed me. Uh, it's going to kill me three days later. I was going to do laundry in here. Um, but Sunday, I believe I'm totally out of hours. So uh, it's, it's going to be Friday morning. I still got laundry. I'm not out of laundry. So uh, we're just going to get offloaded and see where they send us and roll. I'm probably going to hit that snowstorm. Um, and I'm empty. I will be empty. And that's never any fun. Real, real quick, I'm going to give you an update on the PFP where I'm standing at. Because uh, that's really, to me, my only measurement, the only measurement of where you're where you're at, how good you're doing or not doing. Um, because you're not gonna get the phone call that says, Dave, you're just, you're just doing great, man. Uh, and that's not their job. Um, so I, I am uh, eighth on the board is for, for 37 drivers. Um, I'm the highest in miles per gallon. My idle time is still high. I figured that would have came down, but um, when I ran up to the Canada, it was really cold. The heater was running a lot. And the truck needed opt idle because the heater was just continually running. And then that issue I had with the trailer, um, which was the very first days of the quarter. I guess I put such a big dent in it because I've not been idling since then. Uh, I'm not highest on the board, but I need to get that down. Um, I need to get that down. I ended up with the week with 3,214 miles. Good week. <laughs> 